going to pick those hind hooves up to pick them out. I'll just push my shoulder into him, push his weight over to the other limb. I'll palm the sole of this, and then I'm just going to walk gently into him and put my knee underneath this hog. Use the back of my knife for a hoof pick to pick that out. Then use a brush and brush towards the, towards the ground. Clean that up. I'm evaluating the sole of the foot. I'm looking at how far back the heels are worn. Any extra length on one side than the other. I see that the medial toe quarter is a little longer. This lateral, lateral heel, outside heel, is smushed in a little bit. He does have a fetlock varus. He goes in at the fetlock. Nothing too severe, but he has it. Set him down. Walk forward. I'm going to look at it from the front and I note that uh, the hairline on the outside toe quarter is a little higher than the inside toe quarter. There's a little more flare to the inside than there is to the outside. And because of his deviation, he is, uh, I'm sure, hitting hard on the outside and walking in a base narrow manner. And go to the opposite limb. Go slowly, palm that foot, bring it out behind, pick the dirt and the debris out. Again, I'm taking note of the solar surface of the foot. I'm looking for any issues, penetrations, debris. Notice that this uh, outside heel again is worn way back further than the other one. Also, his fetlock varus here is greater than on his other limb. That would be why he's knocking down this outside heel so much. And when I'm looking at him, I notice a difference in muscling. If you look at his muscling, there's a slight difference. And he is straight in the stifle. Those horses will generally scuff the toe off a little more. I'm looking at the hocks for any inflammation bumps. You can often feel them. Usually on the inside, bottom of the hock, you'll feel them more so on this right hind than on the left hind. When I'm looking at different shoe types, because he's an eventer, I want to square the toe. That leaves a little hoof wall over the front of the, the shoe so that if he is to interfere with the front limb, he's going to hit with hoof and not shoe. A safer for the animal. I'm also looking for a shoe with maybe a less width in the medial branch than on the lateral branch. This. Uh, this one doesn't accomplish that, but this Grand Prix does. I have a greater width laterally, less width medially, because of the way he wears his feet and because of the way he walks. This would be my choice. It also has a square toe. The Select would offer me the square toe and a hind shape, but it's not going to give me the width of the web that I need on this horse. This is an ideal shoe for a horse that's a little straighter and uh, needs a little more traction because of its narrower width. It's not so slippery on the grass. I am going to go with the Grand Prix. He's an eventer. He's base narrow. He's a little straight in the stifle and he lands hard on the outside. This will give him the support to help him out. I'm just going to trim the sole down where the burn mark is there so I have no contact between shoe and sole. The shoe design that I have for the backs, the nail design is a little different. On the front I had a slim, slim blade which was a combo head which is more rectangular. And on the hind foot, the Grand Prix has a more square nail, so I'm using an E-head nail that fits tightly in there without movement. This is an E4 Slim. I'll tap that shoe into position and we'll put a couple of nails in there. I'll put the inside second nail in. I've put my finger up along the hoof wall 
I'm aiming for that finger. I move that finger before the nail comes out. Just tap that in there. I'm going to ring off the nail. You bend them over, flatten them out, or ring them off. Outside, tap that nail in. And then ring that off. And I'll set the foot down and evaluate the shape of the shoe. All right, and I'm happy with the shape of the shoe. I have left a little material here. The horse has landed hard on the outside of that hoof and pounded it down, flared to the inside. I gave the hoof some symmetry by giving it just a little more steel on the outside. Okay, and then we'll tack on the other one. Because this heel is pushed in so far, and because there's an old injury or quarter crack there, I've knocked the outside width of web down here to allow that foot to fall more softly into the, the ground. It's an E4 slim. Start the nail, second nail hole. Move my thumb out of the way. Tap that nail in. And then go to the second nail on the outside. Set the foot down and make sure that I have the appropriate shape. I have to make a subtle adjustment to the inside branch of the shoe and we'll have it right. I'm going to use the crease nail pullers. Pull these, I have it too tight here. I need to give the horse a little more width. Make the adjustment and come back. Need to bring that medial branch out. I'm going to cross tongue to the toe. The point of the shoe that I want to come out will go on the horn of the anvil. The point where I want it to start coming out is the point where, where I will hit with the flat side of the hammer. I'll make sure the shoe is flat and go back and have a look again. One more hit. Second nail hole on both sides. I'll put my finger up along the hoof wall, aim for that finger, move that finger before the nail exits, ring it off, bend it over, or flatten it out, set the hoof down, reevaluate the shape of that. All right, excellent. When you pick up your nails out of the box, you feel them to make sure there's no burrs. These are excellent nails. Make sure that you have the point and the trademark on the right side.
once we have the nails in then I'll use the urethane hammer and the clinch block clinch block goes up alongside of the hoof wall underneath the nail hit down on the nail head that starts the clinching process starts bending that nail out all right and then we'll set it down we'll finish the process on the stand I lift the foot I'll let him know I'm here I pull that foot forward set it on the anvil stand in this position I can work on the outside nails and get those clinched up make them all the same length I'll follow the burr off underneath the nail and using the clincher put the flat side of the jaw under the shoe up on the hoof wall and squeeze the reins together then using the smoother side of the file I'll clean those up And then I'll move to the inside of the hoof by spinning around. I'll vial them all the same length. I'm underneath them at the same angle as the hoof wall. Take the burr off. Using the clincher, flat side goes underneath the shoe. Squeeze the reins together. Using the smooth side of the file, I'll take any burrs or sharp edges off. Go between the shoe and the hoof and round that up. Make sure it's all smooth and set the foot down.